In this video, time and date from real-time clock DS3231 are displayed on 4-digit MAC7219 display using only the wire library and the MAC7219 library I created in my previous video. A circuit diagram of the digital clock is shown here. We have the MAC7219 display serially interfaced with the Arduino using three digital pins. And we have the DS3231 real-time clock interface with the Arduino using I2C connection. Before we can use the DS3231 real-time clock, we need to set time and date on the module. And we can do this by using this sketch here, which uses only the while library. Inside the set of function, we initialize the I2C of the microcontroller. And then we write the code needed to set the current time. So we begin by sending the I2C address of the module and then we write this value in order to point to the seconds register inside the DS3231. And then we send the byte needed to set the seconds. This value here is in binary coded decimal. And then we send the byte for the minutes, again binary coded decimal, and then we send the byte needed to put the clock either in 12 hour mode or 24 hour mode. In our case it is 24 hour mode and then we end the transmission. Next we want to set the current date. We begin the transmission. We send the byte needed so that we point to the date register inside the DS3231. And then we send the byte needed to set day. Again, the byte value is in binary coded decimal. And then we send the byte for the month and then the year. And then we end the transmission. To learn more on how to program the DS3231, please refer to my previous video where I program the module using assembly language. A link to that video will be provided in the description. Once we program the DS3231, we can now write the sketch needed to read time, date, and temperature and display it on the max7219.matrix uh, display. For this sketch, we need two libraries, the wire library, so that we can read time, date, and temperature from the DS3231 using I2C protocol. And we need the max7219 library, which was demonstrated in my previous video. We also need to include this header file, which contains the bytes needed to sketch the alphabet from A to Z, capital and small. Next, we create this object and declare it to the constructor. And uh, this object indicates that the MAC7219 module is interfaced through three digital pins. So we have the data in connected to pin 2, the chip select to pin 3, and the clock to pin 4. Inside the setup function, we initialize the I2C of the microcontroller, and then we initialize the MAC7219 and set the brightness level. And then we call this function to display intro text on the MAC7219 screen. Inside the loop function, we call this function to read time, date, and temperature from DS3231. And then we call this function to display hours, minutes on the MAC7219 display. And then every 30 seconds, this if statement becomes true. And we call this function to display the date and the temperature on the MAC7219. Inside function read DS3231, first we want to set the pointer register to seconds so that we can read the time. We begin the transmission. We send the byte needed to point to seconds register and then we end the transmission. Now we can read time. We first request uh, data from the DS32. We are requesting three bytes, the seconds, minutes and hours. So here we are reading the seconds and save it in the first element of array DS3231 data. And then we read minutes and save it in the second element. 
and then we read hours and save it in the third element. Next we want to write to set the pointer register to date so that we can read day, month and year from the DS3231 module. We begin the transmission. We send the byte needed to point to date register. We end the transmission. Now we can read date. So we request three bytes from the DS3231. So the first byte we read will be stored in this uh, fourth element of the array, which is the day. And then we read the month and store it in this element. And then we read the year and store it in this element. In this next write, we want to set the pointer register to temperature. We begin the transmission. We send this byte so that we point to temperature register. We end the transmission. Now we can read the temperature. We request one byte from DS3231. The byte we read is the integer part of temperature and save it in this element of the array. To learn more on how to read from DS3231, please refer to my previous video. Again, the video is found in the link given in the description. Back inside the loop function and after reading data from the DS3231. Now we have the time, the date, and the temperature. So now we can call this function to display time. Inside function display time, we display the most significant digit of hours and the least and most significant digits on minutes on digits 1, 3, and 4 of the MAX7219. And then we display the least significant digit of hours with blinking decimal point using this uh, these if statements. Back inside the loop function, in every 30 seconds we display date and temperature by calling this function. Inside function display date, we display the month and the day, and then we display the year and then we display the temperature. In a future video, I will create an Arduino library for the DS3231, which can be used to set time and date and read time and date from the module. Thank you for watching.